Let's have it. If you guys need some FIFA 20 coins that are safe, cheap, and reliable, then make sure you get yourself over to MuleFactory.com and go ahead and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself 5% off your order and build on your ultimate team now and get the best players possible in your team. Also, just before we get into the video, if you guys want to go ahead and get yourself some G Fuel, make sure you head over to the G Fuel website, a link in the description to that, and go ahead and use the code NERD at the checkout for 10% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by today's title, we're going to be using 11 UCL upgrade packs in a game of foot champions. And basically just letting it choose our team. And as you saw at the start, we've got the Champions League trophy here. This is the real one, you know, d don't even at me. But I thought I'd buy a nice prop. Let's just see if we can stand it up here. I don't think it's going to work at all, is it? Is it going to stay? It might do. We'll leave it there for a bit. And I've just realised you can kind of see my setup in there. Like, yeah. Cool. So yeah, basically today I've gone ahead and built 11 of these UCL upgrade packs. Actually cost me a lot of coin. I'm pretty sure I put in like 110 to like 120,000 coins and then used players in my club as well. So, you know, a lot of investment in this video. Hopefully EA give us some good players back. That is what I kind of hope. And obviously they're dropping the road to final cards uh, tonight as well. So... You never know, might get one of them. I mean, my pack opening video for that is probably already out, so make sure you check that out. But yes, today, we're going to go ahead and open up 11 of these packs to kick it off. Then we'll put them all into a team and build a team and use the best players in the team and see how this goes and then use it in a game of foot champions. So, without further ado, I think that's enough of me talking. I've accidentally opened up a pack already. I literally just accidentally opened it up. I honestly... Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll watch this pack anyways. It's the first one. It's a walkout to kick it off. That's a good start. It's Poland. Is it going to be striker? Is that Lewandowski? No way! What a way to kick this off. What a way to kick it off. I didn't even mean to start it then, but we kick it off with an 89 rated Robert Lewandowski UCL card. I mean, you can't make this up. You actually can't. Uh, yeah, nice. Um, Good start to the UCL. Let's, let's go. Lewandowski, let's have it. That's actually pretty crazy. I mean, I'll, I'll take that. You know, an accidental open, I'll take that. Let's just see who else is joining him in this first pack then. Uh, do we get anyone else good alongside him? That's a bit, sir, but an 89 rated Robert Lewandowski. That is nice. All right, so back to what I was going to say before we accidentally opened that pack. We obviously had 11 packs, but now we have 10. But as you can see, we've got all of these 81 plus two rare UCL player packs. And hopefully, we can continue on and get some good players alongside that Lewandowski. All right, let's go. Right, so back to the actual schedule time for packs. Let's go with the next one up here then. Can we get anything good in this next pack? So obviously, literally all of these are going to be boards or above. Um, what do we get in this one? We get a board this time, so it's an 84 or below. Or sorry, 83 or below, I should say. And that is going to be... Lo Celso, 83. Okay. And then with him alongside him is Nacho Fernandez, which isn't too bad either. If you actually think about it, this team is going to be fairly decent because it's going to be 81 pluses at least. And obviously, it's only really decent teams that are in the Champions League. So, we should, fingers crossed, hopefully get some more decent players in this as well. All right, then. Pack number three, then. Here we go. What do we get in pack number three? Hit me up here, EA. Give me someone sick. Hopefully, we can get a couple more walkouts. That's what I do hope. We get a 83 or below in this one, though. And it's going to be Spanish. It's going to be right wing. Is it going to be Pedro? Yes, it is. It's going to be 82 rated Pedro. And with Pedro is Savage. Okay. Savage actually brings us a, at least an orange link in the two defensive center backs. Anyways, we've got two center backs in the La Liga. I'll take that. All right. Eight packs remain. Then let's go with the next one. So this is our third pack, I think, that we're opening up now. No, fourth. Uh, yeah, fourth. Who's going to be in it though will we get another walkout we get a walkout in this one come on be someone sick go on be luka modric no that's mario mandzukic i always forget that you can get 84s which obviously not class as normal walkouts but 84 rated mandzukic as a walkout and alongside him is zapata so if we go for two strikers syria you know another orange link there not too bad kind of want a better striker though i'm not gonna i mean we've obviously got Lewandowski though so i don't think that's gonna really happen all right then on to the next pack come on then ea hit us up here give us something sick in this one go on give us back-to-back -back walkouts from the ucl sbc okay no no we don't we get an 83 or below we get brazilian we get ourselves cam and we get is that tyson is it tyson yeah 82 rated tyson just to point out, his inform is horrible to play against. So, yeah, he could actually be quite good, even off the bench. And then joining Tyson in the pack, we get Hector Herrera. Not too shabby. You know what? I literally don't think we've had an 81 rated player yet. I mean, touch wood. Hopefully, I haven't cursed that now. And we're going to get all rubbish packs from now on. But let's continue on. So, we're pretty much halfway through now. This pack obviously takes us over halfway because there's not really a halfway point of 11. So, on to this one then. Can we get... A decent one to, you know, walk out in the halfway point. We do. So an 84 or above, it's going to be Colombian Cam. It's going to be James Rodriguez. Okay. 
85 rated James Rodriguez. Not too bad. I mean, I say not too bad, apart from really 55 pace. But you never know. He could be all right in the game. We'll have to try him out. And then joining the boy James Rodriguez is going to be... Let's have a look... Van der Beek, who I apparently already have. So, interesting. We'll just switch that out so we get him and not back. On to now the next pack. Okay, then. Five packs remain. Let's go with this one here. So, come on. Can we get ourselves another walkout? That would be pretty sick. Let's see what we get in this pack. We don't get a walkout. We get an 83 or below. So, it's going to be Spanish. It's going to be... right. Is that going to be Pedro again? That's literally the third time I packed Pedro. Not in this video, but I mean, I packed... Actually, I think that might be the fourth time I packed Pedro overall from these SPCs. And we get Lucas Vazquez, another Spanish right wing. Our first 81. I knew I'd curse myself when I said that. I just knew it. Okay, then four packs remain. Let's do one on a nose pack. Let's see if we can get, you know, a walkout look from a nose pack. Come on, EA. Hit us up here. Give us another walkout, please. Okay, no, we get an 83 up below. What nation is it going to be? It's going to be Argentinian. It's going to be centre back. It's going to be Nicolas Otamendi. And then alongside Otamendi, we get a duplicate in Savage, who we already got in this video. Okay. Okay, three packs remain. Let's go with the middle one now, then. All right, come on. Here's a, oh, I've dropped the controller. I have dropped the controller. But you never know. We could still get something sick from this pack. No, we get an 83 or below again. Not hitting up any walkouts at the moment. And we get ourselves Matip. I think Joel Matip, yeah. Not bad. Um, once again, a Premier League link, so we can link him and Otamendi if need be. Do we get anyone good alongside him? Hopefully not a duplicate. No, it's not. It's Gabriel Polista, who's not bad, actually. We can link him up then with Nacho Fernandez. We've got a lot of centre-backs. I'm just thinking right now, we haven't got like a left mid or a right mid like many of them. I mean, we've got Pedro that I can think of. So, hopefully, in these next two packs, we get some of them players. Okay, then. So, the penultimate pack, the one before the end. Do we get hit up, or hit up, hooked up here from EA? We get a walkout, 84 or above. It's going to be Mandzukic again. I just knew it. I didn't even want to say it was going to be Modric, just because I had the feeling that was going to be Mandzukic again. But let's see who's with Mandzukic. Hopefully, like a left winger. Come on, hit us up with a left winger. Come on, EA, please. Uh, Jordan Henderson, uh, not a left winger, but does link up with Matip, so that's not too bad. Okay, then the final pack that we're going to go ahead and open up. Let's do it in three, two, one, bang. Can we end it off with anything sick? Go on, hit us, hit us up with like an 84 or above here, EA, please. Can we get an 84 or above? No, we can't. 83 or below it's going to be, then it's going to be French. It's going to be goalkeeper. It's going to be Ariola. Um, who actually links up with Nacho Fernandez. So, decent, actually. And then, alongside him in the final pack is Goethe. Okay. I'm just trying to think now. Like, chemistry-wise, I don't know how this team's going to go. Um, I don't know what formation we're going to be able to rock out. I'm pretty sure we didn't get many left-backs or right-backs if we got any. So, yeah, that is definitely going to be interesting. Okay, so on to now building the squad with the players in here. So, as you can see, here are all the players that we packed. We've got the likes of James Rodriguez over here. We've got the likes of Vazquez and Nacho Fernandez. Then, coming down here, we've got the likes of Lewandowski in here as well. Mandzukic. We actually have some decent players in here. Obviously, it's just about getting the chemistry right. But I feel like we should be able to get some decent links in here. We've got, uh, like, four Real Madrid players in the goalkeeper centre back right wing cam that's probably going to be a factor they're going to probably all be used in this team so obviously we've got to figure out a formation I think it's going to have to be a three at the back because we literally have no single fullbacks like we literally don't have a fullback at all plan of action is figure out a formation to get this team to work then we're going to go ahead put the players in the positions and then get into obviously the game alright so you see our players let's obviously go to a four oh, sorry a three at the back and I've also just remembered we don't have a left midfielder either so one with the maximum of one winger or like is in like one winger either side is the formation we're going to have to to go with and i think the best formation we can kind of go with here to link a lot more up is the 314 with the three center backs three center mids well the cdm in there as well left mid and right mid and two strikers all right i think that is the formation we're gonna have to go with with this team let's see if it works out when we go ahead and put the players in all right so in terms of what I was thinking here, so we've got the likes of James Rodriguez, like I said, Vasquez over here. So we're going to go like that with Vasquez and James Rodriguez on the right side. Then obviously switch out Goethe, put Nacho Fernandez in that centre back role. And then we're already getting a nice little bit of linkage here. Then in the middle, we'll go with Henderson and we'll put Matip in the middle to link up with him and kind of then actually does destroy a link. It's actually better if I do that, apparently. Okay, intriguing. So what I could do is I could bring in Henderson over here, maybe, uh, drop Goethe for a minute. Um, we'll just go, I don't know, Sebastian bits or something. I mean, it's not a CDM either. Yeah, that's kind of awkward. But what my thinking is, is we bring in Pedro on the left wing. Gives us a bit more Premier League links there, which is not too bad. Maybe we even got Hector Herrera here, which actually gives us better chemistry. That looks a lot better. And obviously, we need some strikers up here. Lewandowski is definitely, I think, got to be an option. 
Um, we'll go instead of Tyson at the moment. And then maybe bring in Mario Goetze. Or do we go Zapata? No, I think we'll go Goetze for the chemistry. So then we've got Lewandowski and Goetze linking up. And I'm just trying to think if we can somehow get any more chemistry here. But I don't think we can. All right, so let's go through this team again. So in goal is Ariola. Right centre-back is Nacho Fernandez. Central centre-back is Polista. Left centre-back is Matip. Left mid is Pedro. Left centre mid is Henderson. Central centre mid is Hector Herrera. Right centre mid is James Rodriguez. Right mid is Vasquez. Then right striker is Lewandowski and left striker is Mario Goetze. And also the chemistry wise, it's kind of hard to see because Pedro is there. But we've got 77 chemistry and obviously the 83 rating. Not too bad. And I think in terms of the bench, we're going to stick with how it is. And that is Van der Beek, Zapata, La Celso, Mandzukic, Sabitzer, Tyson and Otamendi. Alright boys, I think we've completed our UCL 2 player team there. Um, the UCL Ultras, I like to call it, if you didn't see that name already. Right there on the screen. But yeah, this is the team we're going to be rocking into a game of Foot Champions. Like I said, some decent players in it. We mean, we've got Lewandowski. We've got Vasquez, who's not bad. We've got Hamas Rodriguez, you know, a little bit slow. Henderson, Hector Herrera. Decent back line, actually, as well, with Ariola, who's supposed to be decent in this game as well. So, that's enough of me talking. Without further ado, let's now head into a game with a full UCL two-player team. And let's see what we can do. All right, boys, it's time to get into the game now then. And as you can see, we have not played a single game yet and the pressure is kind of on because I did kind of go elite two last weekend. So, you know, I mean, this team's not gonna be easiest to use because like I said, the chemistry is not the best, etc. We will try our utmost best to get the win and start this weekend off 1-0, but we'll see what we can do. All right, it looks like we have found an opponent then. So what is this team going to be? It is, okay, an interesting one. It's got Martial, Vasquez, Modric on loan, Casemiro, Artur, Eden Menetau, Longley, Semedo. Not too sure who the left back is. Ariola in goal and Ben Yedda as striker. Okay, let's see what the UCL Ultras could do in this game. Come on, boys, let's do it. Okay, Hector Herrera out wide to Pedro. Pedro with the ball roll into Henderson. Play that up forward. Nice. Love this. Go on. Someone run out wide. Vasquez is making the run out wide. Here with the heel. Cut back. Yes. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Ball roll. Ball roll. Lewandowski. Oh, he's blocked it. Yes. Now down to Goethe. Now back into Lewandowski. Lewandowski's in the gap. Finesse shot. Oh my God. The challenge. What a challenge, son. Go on. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Come on. Drag back. Lewandowski. Slam it. Oh, he's in the post. No way. Come on. Got it back though. Rodriguez again. Hit the Goethe. Mario Goethe. What a save. Oh, come on. We need to be taking these chances. Come on. Back out. Nice. Into now Lewandowski this time. Surely smack that. Let's go. That is what I like to see. And that is what you get from the likes of Robert Lewandowski. Actually, wait. What? It was Goetze. Um... Apparently, it was Goetze. I swear that was Lewandowski. But Mario Goetze bangs it in. Uh, okay. Well, it's 1-0. Anyways, that's all that counts. We are 1-0 up. Let's go. Keep up, Matip. Oh, don't don't give him the goal side option. Oh, no. Oh, that's a ball back. And he's bottled the shot, but he's still got it. Martial, good save, Ariola. Oh, no. He's got a bit of space here. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, he's put it wide. That was a chance and a half. Oh, my. No. Yep. Nice. Pedro, play it. Henderson. Okay. Henderson's making the blistering run out wide. Into Goetze now. Oh, that is a ball and a half. Into now Lewandowski. He's gone for the triple sweat. Lewandowski this time with the finish. It is indeed Lewandowski this time. That was just the ultimate sweat. But I will take it. A pass across to a pass across to the finish. We are now 2-0 up with the UCL Ultras. Come on. All right, there we go then. Half time. We are 2 0 up. Hopefully, we can keep this at a win in the second half. I'm going to make a couple of changes and things. So, my plan of action is to go ahead and put Henderson in the defensive midfield role. Um, Henderson's now going to go CDM. We're going to bring it on then Tyson, the rapid man himself. And then we'll switch Tyson and Hamas Rodriguez around like that and get into the second half. Okay, second half. Subs are done. Changes are done. Let's get into it. Come on. Oh, let's... That's, okay. Oh, Ben Yedda. That's a filthy turn. Can Nacho Fernandez keep up with him? Keepers coming out. Good save, Ariola. All right, Tyson, use your pace, lad. Here we go. The pace of Tyson. Let's do it, lad. He's literally bursting on his wing right now. Can he make anything from the end product? No, into Lewandowski. Yes, he can. It is now 3-0. Oh, no. I've opened up the space there. Oh, I'm trying to recover. Finesse your Ariola with the save again. Oh, it's good play. That is good play. Oh, Ben Yedda. Oh, I didn't save in that time. There we go then, boys. We managed to win 3-1. The UCL Ultras clutch up there 
and get us the win. So here's confirmation of the score on your screen now. We managed to win 3-1. And then if we take a look at the match facts as well, we had 12 shots to his 15, 9 on target to his 9, and also 57% possession to his 43. So overall, we you know, we had most of the ball. We dominated the game, and I don't know how he had more shots than us. He just must have been shooting from like the halfway line or something. Actually, no, I know how. Ariola had a beast performance. He was actually sick in goal. But yes, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Let me know in the comments any other future challenges you guys would like to see in the future. Obviously, if you see one that you like in the comments, make sure you hit the like button on it. The more likes it's got, the easier it is for me to see it in the comments. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.